Hi there. Today we're going to do a quick walkthrough and demonstration of how to use the new text on a path feature in Lightburn. So this is something that's been requested more than pretty much anything else on our feature request site. So we're pretty pleased with it. Um, so let's get started. So to put text onto a path or curve text, first of all, you will need some text. This feature only works with single lines of text, so you can't enter multiple lines and wrap them onto an object. You will have to do the text one line at a time. So create some text and then create a path or a shape that you want to put the text on. So in my case, I'm going to use a circle or an ellipse. Select both objects. It doesn't matter what order you select them in. You can do the text first and then the shape. You can drag select the two of them together however you like go to Tools, Apply Path to Text, and now the text is locked onto the shape. In this case, the shape itself has a starting point down here on the bottom. That's where the first node is in this object, and it traverses this way, so there's node 0, node 1, node 2, node 3. Programmers count from 0. If you want to put the text on the top of the curve, um, which is something that I would like to do, you can just rotate the ellipse object or the path uh, 90 degrees like that, and now the text is at the top. What you can't do is rotate the text. Once it is attached to a path or shape, it is locked onto that shape and can't be manipulated directly uh, with a few exceptions, and I'll show you what those are in a moment. So. I'm going to rotate my ellipse 90 degrees so that the text is up top. I can scale the ellipse and manipulate it in the same way that I normally used to be able to or normally could. If I grab and rotate the whole thing, the text goes with it because the text is anchored to it. A few other things that are worth noting. If I select the text, I can still modify the height of the text. You can also change the alignment of the text. Now this is kind of important. Um, if we go back to the ellipse shape, and I show you where the starting point is again. So here's the start. So it traverses around this way. If I tell the text to attach itself or to align itself to the left, the left edge of the text is now at that starting point. If I say right align the text, now the right edge of the text is aligned to that starting point. And if I say middle, now the text is centered on the path. This is more evident if the path is a line or a, a curved shape that's open. You can also align the text vertically. So right now, the center line of the text is what's anchored to the curve. If I say align the top of the text to the curve, you can see that the top of the capital letters are what's anchored to the curve. If I say align the Y to the bottom, now the bottom of the text is what is aligned to the curve. A couple of interesting things. If I take this curve and move it this way, you'll notice that the text stays attached to its bottom edge. But now the text is on the inside of the curve instead of the outside. You can use this uh, to your advantage if you are trying to manipulate the text into a particular arrangement. If I tell the text I want it attached to the top, now it's attached to the top when it's down here. If I grab this shape and pull it up, the text is still anchored to the top of the text inside that shape. You can get the same results by flipping the thing inside out the other way. If I move this scale it inside out left to right, um, it has that same effect. Um, just be aware of how this works. It may take a little bit of playing with to get a feel for it. It's a little bit more obvious if you use just a straight line. So if I draw a line from the left side to the right side of the screen, and then I draw another line from the right side to the left side of the screen, if we look at both of these shapes and we see their starting points. So this one says I'm starting here going this way. This one says I'm starting here going this way. If I create a couple of lines of text, I'm going to attach this text to that line. 
and I'm going to attach this text to that line. Now, you'll notice that the text attached to the line that is going from left to right, standard North American reading order, um, is above the line. And the text that is attached to the line going from right to left is underneath the line. If I node edit this and pull the line the other way, now the text is upright again. Um, this is useful to know. Um, it allows you to control where the text is going to appear. Um, it'll also save you some headaches if you're trying to figure out why the text popped onto a particular side of your line. It's also worth noting that in node editing mode, the text is attached and is live. So if I take this line, for example, and I make it a smooth line, I can grab the line nodes and edit them and manipulate them so that the text now bends. The preview video that we did showed this fairly clearly. Uh, I'll show a slightly different version of this on this circle. If I take the circle, now in order to node edit this, it's a primitive shape. I'm first going to have to convert it to a path. So edit, convert to path. Now I can edit the nodes on this. I'm going to delete that portion and that portion and manipulate this. So you can see that the text is following the curve completely live as I manipulate the curve. Um, you'll also notice that as I'm editing the curve, the text is not welded. As soon as I let go, it does a final pass over it and welds everything. This is to improve interactivity so that as you are manipulating the objects, uh, the animation is smooth. Um, we've done this in a few places in Lightburn. Most of the time it's not noticeable, but it does help keep the interactivity up. You can also edit some of the properties of the text while it is attached to the curve. You cannot scale or rotate the text, for example, but I can change the size here. I can change the horizontal spacing. In a future release of Lightburn, I would like to add a width scale as well so that you could fatten the text. Um, you can also make it bold or italic. That still works. Um, change the font and so on. All of this is still live. The only thing you can't do is stretch, skew, change the text that way. If I delete the line that the text is anchored to, it goes back to how it was before, its, uh, its previous shape and its previous position. Hopefully that has covered everything. Um, if you have any questions, please come to our forum at forum.lightburnsoftware.com. We'd be happy to help you there. Thank you.